So I fast forward to the campaign three years so we can get to war with Persia for the second time and hopefully take even more land. Actually, to be exact, we have June uh, until we can declare war, June of 1573. So a few more months. Uh, we are losing a lot of money because... Well, I had to get. I had another event pop up where it was either lose stability or Gang Three inflation. Uh, I did reduce inflation a bit after I grabbed uh, Administrative Technology Nine, so that's a little bit better. I mean, we're going to get an Idea Group next up, uh, but we're still pretty far behind in terms of technology, which really sucks. And there's been some big developments that's been going on in Europe. Um, I think we talked about how Russia no longer rivals me, right? They actually don't have a bad opinion of us at all. Fifty-eight. I mean, our opinion could be better of Russia, but you know, it's 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 going to get there. Um, so we're no longer rivaled to Russia. I rivaled uh, the Timurids instead, just because why not? I plan on going to war with the Timurids, and I, I want to use the bonuses you get for rivaling a certain nation and going to war with them. Uh, but what's going on here? With Russia, it seems as though Russia has fallen into a personal union under Denmark. There's no way Denmark's going to keep that, though. There's just no way. I thought At first, I was freaking out because I thought that that was Russia over Denmark. Uh, but because Russia's under Denmark, more than likely Russia will break free at some point uh, as soon as they get big enough. I mean, they only lead a personal union with Russia. It's not with Sweden or Norway. Um, they're only allied to Norway. They're not allied to Sweden. So this will not stand for very much longer. Actually, there's a big war going on between uh, Russia, Denmark, Norway versus France, Aragon, Austria, and uh, Genoa. Just insanity. So I don't think they're going to win this. I think they're already beginning to become occupied. Um, is it? I mean, I'd like to just see for just the sake of things. Uh, this is kind of entertaining. What the heck is going on? It's a Russian succession. That's what I figured. A Russian succession war. Um, Austria is trying to break this up. We'll see if they actually get the job job done. Uh, they're at negative two war score, but that just popped up like not maybe a few months ago, possibly. I'm 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 a little bit surprised they haven't made more progress. But uh, but yes. I also brought down my, my chance of uprising. Obviously, my national unrest is nice and low, negative 4.74. Couldn't be any better. Uh, and like I said, in a few months, we're going to get our war started with Persia. Now, this time, we're not going to get the backing of, uh, of the Uzbek like we did before. The Uzbek was really useful to us, uh, and they kept Yarkan distracted. I don't even know if my two friends are willing to, uh, are willing to be a part of this. I don't think they are, to be honest. I mean, let's see. Come on, please back me up. No, they are not. Now, I don't know. I can probably get this to work. I mean, what's your opinion of me? If I if I improve our relationship, then maybe. I don't know if I'm going to have it improved enough. I mean, Oman is not down. Oman is definitely not down. But I might as well just improve the relationship be just because. Uh, and as I gain more administrative power, I'm going to need to reduce the inflation because this is uh, starting to have a pretty big impact on my economy. Uh, I wouldn't be losing as much ducats. Uh, if I had lower inflation, so that's been bad. There goes our truce. Uh, but would I like to wait for a second just to see if I can get a friend involved here? Oman is now involved. Why? Why? Well, I mean, Oman is... If I could get both, that'd be amazing. I don't know if Yarkan is going to be able to get military access. I have a feeling that they might. Attitude towards the enemy. Oh, okay, so you really don't like... Uh, Persia, that's probably why. Distant war, you're right there. What do you mean distant war? It's barely a distant war. How do I get my diplomatic reputation up? I could probably hire an advisor. There's probably a diplo rep advisor. Uh, but I guess not, no. Wait a second, did did I pass over? Better relations over time. There is diplo rep, uh, reputation advisor, but that is going to cost me too much money. Way too much money. I don't think I want to sit here and wait for, you know, my friend to get involved. I'm just going to call in Oman, and uh, hopefully we can do this by ourselves. Hopefully so. Okay. Uh, unit maintenance. What are you talking about? I was going to say, we have full unit maintenance. So let me just see what I got myself involved into. Let's see what we're looking at in terms of numbers. Uh, okay. So we have a slight advantage. It, and, and, again, we have an advantage only because we're waiting for Yarkan to get here. We don't even know if Yarkan's going to send everything over. We'll see. Um, but for now, I didn't realize, let me make sure that my two-star general gets assigned here, my king, I should say. That way, you know, there's generals near both forces. Uh, there aren't many, uh, I shouldn't go into the desert, actually, hold on. Tuscany declared war on, uh, Lucia, Lucia. I shouldn't go into the, de there's a, there's a desert province that Persia controls, I need to be careful of that. Let's try to run in there as fast as possible. 
maybe draw them in for an attack. See, it looks like they're starting to rebuild, which we, this is all, these are all provinces that we can move towards. I know that Persia was been, has been building up an army. I think as they uh, saw what we were trying to, to do here, they've been slowly building up. So they do have a two-star general. We're going to want to make sure that, well, I don't really want to fight in the mountains, but I don't think we'd get a crossing penalty if we were to go after them. Oh, are you fighting? Oh, you're still fighting in the mountains. Hmm. I'm getting money right now for some reason. Okay, I'm going to go this way just to cut you off from the rest of everything else. Oh, good. Oman is here. Okay, now wait a second. Nice. So we did. That was very, very good. Mecklenburg is in religious civil disorder. Uh, we just cut off these regiments, this five stack, from reaching the 15th stack. That was great. I didn't even mean to do that. Let's destroy their regiments before they start to go crazy. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that we do that. Okay, so they occupy one of our... Wait, where are you going? You are going to the north, which is also in mount ter, uh, mountainous terrains. Can I get there faster? 7th of December? No. Okay, I just, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see. Okay, so here's a five stack. We need to destroy this five stack before Yarkand gets here and this becomes all difficult. And of course, Oman is going to be focusing in on grabbing the siege of the fort instead of helping us out with the battle. I don't like that. So I'll wait for them to uh, be trapped. I'll wait. Oh. Oh, really? Ah, uh, because we're in the desert. That's okay. I guess that is actually a pretty smart move. And we have to go all the way around here. So they were able to unite. What, what is this looking like? So they're not getting any offensive penalty. I knew I should have been more careful with that. And of course Oman is going to take forever. I really hope Yarkand doesn't return now. Now that would be terrible if they just appear. But I don't know if they have military access. If they do, it would have to be through... Yep, it, it's going to be through um, these two subcontinents. So it's going to be from the south. I, my, I, my ninth stack needs to be careful. So what would I do? I want Kandar's opinion higher of me? Not really. I'd much rather get the diplomatic um, points. Very nice. Okay, so we won that small battle. It's a small, small win, but it, it's going to have a lasting impact because now they're going to be running away. Now I can go after their five stack, which I do have low morale. Need to keep that in mind. Ah, and here goes Yarkand. Um, they're trapped. We're going to get trapped in the desert, and we're going to lose this battle for sure. And of course, Oman is... Oh, there you go. Break your siege, Oman. We don't need that fort right now. So I don't know how Yarkand got here. Maybe they... I don't know. If they got military access through the Timurids or what? I thought everyone hates the Timurids. Actually, you know what? Persia... Uh, I don't know how you got it. I have no idea. I was going to say maybe you got it through Persia. Maybe the P Persians and the Timurids. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, and now, if we can make it there before they escape... Nope. It's a little bit too late for that. Need to be careful. I'm at 21% with my 9 stack. Let's let's go ahead and back away. Okay, so there goes Oman. Oman, do something now for me, okay? Can you do something for me? What, 12% war score? What happened here? Ah, very nice. Okay, so Oman is not... Ooh, are you chasing... Am I in the mountains? I am in the mountains. Where are you going? You're coming for me. That's fine. If you want to fight in the mountains, you're probably not going to get a crossing. Oh, you're never mind. They're gonna they're gonna back away. Dang it. All right. Well, let's go this way. Let's stay in the mountains for sure. It, now, are there any Persian forces here? Uh, they might have unoccupied something that we were going after. Come on, Oman. I need you to. I need you to do something else. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this 18 stack. I'm going to move down south. If they want to attack us in the mountains, that's fine. We'll see if we can draw them in. Or if they want to waste their time going into my territory too, that's that's fine. Oman keeps retreating from the siege. They, I just, I, I swear I just saw them retreat from the siege. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take a one stack on. Here goes Persia. Persia's rebuilding again. And Yarkand is a bit more powerful than I thought. It must be all entirely... The Yarkand military. So wait a second. Now wait a second. I see something here. Um, we don't abs we don't need this province at all. I'm going to head up north. We're going to catch these guys moving into the desert. 
My only fear is that... Let's see, we've got the two-star general over here. Uh, it's going to be a close numbers game. Uh, it's going to be very close when it comes to the numbers. Oh, and we oh we can't move straight there. Ah. Okay. Okay, well, everyone stay. Let's, hmm. You guys seem to be a little bit, my regiments seem a little bit far away from each other. You Boom, I see where you're going. Okay, we need to back, we need to back up. And I need to engage here. No, I'm going to move down south, actually, because I know they're coming after us. Whoa. Whoa, 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 bro. So this is where the battle is going to take place. I'm going to get a train penalty for fighting in the mountains. Come on, Oman. Either finish the siege or do something else, man. Yep, we're not going to win this battle. I lose quite a bit of war score from this. What are the numbers looking like? Still slightly on our side, but not by a whole lot. Now, if we can come in and attack, which we are, that would be great. I don't want them to obviously unsiege this, this fort that I, that I grabbed a hold of. Of course, we're again on the offensive, which is not good. You guys are going all the way back up that way. We need to win this. Oh, good, we did. And now we're fighting the Yarkand military. So the Atlantic's going to run back home or run away. Good, we should win this too because they became the, uh, the offenders because we luckily finished that battle sooner than they, I'm guessing, sooner than they expected. A lot sooner than they expected. Nice. Okay, so that really helps out. Uh, that helps out quite a bit. Now let me stop suffering from attrition. When did Persia get a 12 stack? A fresh 12 stack. And good, I think Yarkan just got sent. To, ooh, where are you going? Where's the 11 stack going now? Let's go this way and attack. I need to watch this 11 stack. I don't know what they're doing. Are they coming after me? You are coming after me. Are you going to reach? You're not going to get there in time. Okay, so how about... Where's my reinforcements at? How are you guys doing? Can I get you back over this way? I guess begin to siege things out. Just protect Oman for now. Make sure that for no reason they break their siege. There should be no reason at all that they break their siege. We'll surround them. Make sure that they get this. They're at 42%. Actually, you know what? Yep, they're going to engage. Perfect. So I'm going to wait for them to engage, actually. There we go. And then I will come and protect. They don't really have any other option. I mean, they had to come in and attack because this is their capital fort that's about to be taken over by us. So the war score is going to be significantly on our side. Yarkan's coming over here, too. This is going to be the battle. This is the battle for the death. This is the battle for everything. The battle for the end of Persia. And uh, and we are going to win this significantly, as well as we're going to beat Yarkan because they... Got, oh, they didn't even want to reinforce. They didn't even try to reinforce. Surprising. Okay. Uh, let me select you guys. Let's just go crazy. Uh, now, hopefully, Oman starts just running around, like, you know, with its head cut off. Just start beating things up. Like, that's exactly what they need to do. That's what I've wait, been waiting for them to do. Lose prestige. Uh, I'm going to lose the money. Which isn't good, because I'm already in a deficit. Okay, and then let's split you guys up. I shouldn't be having a 23,000 stack running around doing uh, nothing like that. Okay, so let's just go get a whole bunch of territory. Let's stop this here. Again, I, I don't know where Yarkand is at. I guess I don't really care. We need to try to destroy these one stacks. We're at 65% war score, so uh, obviously it's significantly on our side. I will not be able to destroy Persia completely in this war. Okay, here they come again. Oman, please deal with them. I don't want to have to deal with them. Please. Can you do something about that? You go here, you go here. Okay. Wait a second. Now, where are you going? You are going to the south. I might get stuck. Hold on. I need to make sure that these guys have reinforcements just in case they want to try something. Oh, they're going to try to unsiege the Persian capital. I see. It's a little bit too late for that, though. Good. Oman is just... They're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. They're just running around, just uh, just battling it out. Destroying regiments and doing what I needed them to do in the very first place. So, But I wasted, unfortunately, much of my own 
um, manpower because they weren't willing to do that. They're just willing to siege. Okay, so um, let us. Do I want to peace out now? Seventy-one percent war score. I won't be able to peace out Yarkan because their their war enthusiasm is too high. But I might be able to kind of take what I want here. I mean, I kind of want just like the outer perimeter, or if I could just like become if they could just become my vassal, that would be great. Uh, you're talking about fifty-two percent overextension. Aggressive expansion doesn't matter. That is quite a bit. Um, that is quite a bit. As well as this might be significantly allowing the Timurids, on the other hand, to more than likely what they'll do is they'll 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 attack Persia back from the east. And if they destroy them, that's perfect because I need to destroy Persia if I want to form Persia. And that's kind of what I want to do. Okay, if you're not willing to give me all your money, though, we'll sit this war out for a little bit longer. I think those are all the provinces that I really want. I don't want any other provinces. Uh, but I'll continue to grab more land from you at the same time. Let's see here. Idea groups. This is going to cost me military power. I'd much rather not fall behind. So we're going to be having. We're going to be skipping. Uh, we're going to be skipping a lot of the idea groups. Luckily, we don't. I'm not too worried about any sort of uprisings. Very good, Oman. You're doing stuff. I like it. Okay, so Yarkand is at 14%. We're gonna need to want to. We're gonna want to stop this. Of course, it is in the mountains. Should I even try, or should I just peace out? We're at 73 war score. I feel like I should probably just peace out, maybe. Rather than waste 75%. Yeah, I I guess so. Here's the new month. Um, make sure you... I want everything now. Okay, good. So he's willing to give me everything. Uh, can I also force you to annul your treaty? If I could force them to annul the treaty with Yarkand, actually, that would be the significant blow. Uh, but there's they're not going to do that. Dang. Well, I guess that's fine. Because if, if they don't... If the Timurids don't have to worry about Yarkand, then it's not... And they're done. Actually, you know what? Persia might lose so much strength from this, um, from from this war here, that Yarkan might not feel like it's it's necessary anymore. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and peace out like that. Fifty-two overextension. I can deal with that, and uh, we'll fight Persia one more time. I hope someone else can can do it for us, though. I don't really want to do it myself. Uh, I'd rather someone else destroy them, because I don't think even with this, I don't think even this is going to be enough to yeah total war score would still be over 116 you're still looking at two more wars at least with persia which with these truce being as long as as long as they are uh you're looking at a pretty long time but uh let's go ahead and raise all this stuff i should be getting a ton of horde unity uh go ahead and i'm just going to destroy the castle don't care about that let's see what are we at 84 horde unity i love it very nice and bam, there's the last one. So I'll core this stuff, and uh, we'll see where we can. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough administrative power. I barely do. I, I don't have one. I can't finish. I can't begin to produce one of those cores, which is it's going to cost a lot of money. I mean, I get it. Uh, let's go ahead and start the missionary back up, and we will lower the army maintenance just a little bit. Just a little bit, because I'm sure we're going to see some uprisings. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Ooh, Persian Separatists. There they go. Uh, I'm going to stop right there, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.